guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're back doing something slightly lighthearted but also <laughs> a little bit shady because why the hell not? So today we're going to be talking about fashion trends that in my opinion are ugly and as usual before we get into this video none of this is supposed to be mean-spirited or attacking and like I say in every video I make like this every single one of these outfits I'm pretty sure I know someone who would pull it off so we're just talking about the outfit itself not judgments on people who wear it or people who like it I'm sure there are plenty of things I wear that people hate and that's totally fine because it's called personal preference so it's just for fun not that deep before we do that I did want to thank today's sponsor which is Kate Casetify. Casetify makes phone cases that have military grade drop protection. So if and when you drop your phone, you're covered. Casetify also offers such a variety of phone case designs from minimal to entirely customizable. On top of that, they've done multiple fun collaborations from Pokemon to Rolling Stones. Right now I'm using a case that I customized entirely. I chose all the photos and even the bumper color to match. However, I do have other favorite phone cases from Casetify, such as this one with my initials. I really do like having phone cases just with my initials. This one also has my initials at the very bottom over here. And then lastly, one with pink camo because I love camo in every single color. I highly recommend to these cases. I've been using them for years now. Go to casetify.com slash ready to glare today to get 20% off your new favorite phone case. All right, so let's get into the eyesores at hand. Someone sent me this picture in the DMs and truly I feel cursed after looking at it. I feel like something bad is about to happen to me. These truly look like Party City shoes, and I mean that in the most offensive way possible. And mind you, Party City actually sometimes has good costumes, but this looks like if Claire's and Party City had a baby, these are the shoes that would come of it. And between the cut off at the leg, like it looks like it's like hurtful at the cut off area, and then the fact that it's pointed, and then these massive bows, and the rainbow sequins, I don't know where to start here. I really don't. Um, I can't think of a single outfit this would look good with. And most of the time when I see these really out there designs, I'm like, okay, if someone wore all black, this could work, you know? I don't know who would make this work. I don't know how you would make this work. I just don't really see hope for these particular shoes. So here we have a dress from Dolce Gabbana that originally was $5,295 for this. Frankly, I tend to like monochrome stripes. I don't like rainbow stripes a lot of times because I feel like it doesn't really work out unless it's like what the LGBT flag aside from that. Here we just have a mixture of colors that in my opinion kind of just look like curtains. That's the vibe I'm getting from this is like they sewed together a curtain, made a slight cinch on the waist, and then they're like, okay, that's enough. Like this, this looks good now. I just feel like a lot of the high fashion clothing as we know, this is no secret, caters to a particular body type, which is very tall and very thin typically. But I feel like even this wouldn't accentuate the features. I don't know who this is for. I don't know where you're supposed to wear this to. Like what, what occasion, where am I going wearing this? The circus, that's all I can think of. This, actually the circus, this would look, this would make sense there. Other than that, if you have any ideas of where someone might wear this, I would love to know. So this one, frankly, I actually like denim on denim if you can make it work. And denim on denim is difficult because sometimes different shades of denim work together. Sometimes it has to be identical. It's it's complicated. I don't know if it's like this weird texture and then the jeans that look like they have, I don't know if it's cow print or if it's just like really big camo that's just like stretched out. And then the cutoff area where it looks like on one leg, it looks like shorts. And then the other area, it looks like a big pocket. I don't know if it's the mixture. Maybe if someone wore the denim jacket with say, see now if I saw someone wearing, let's say a woman wearing a short black dress, like a little black dress with this denim jacket on top of it, having it open off the shoulder, I think there I could forgive it maybe. But other than that, I just, I think maybe the fact that it's closed too makes it seem more awkward. I don't know what it is. Typically don't like things with frills on them like this. I don't like the kind of texture of things just like popping off what you're wearing. Of course, there are always gonna be exceptions to that, but this just seems very middle school project. This one I want to preface because a lot of what you see on the runway is not supposed to be worn every day. Like I think that's pretty obvious. And on top of that, a lot of what's seen on the runway is supposed to be art. So it's not necessarily supposed to be comfortable or even necessarily conventionally pretty. And I completely address that because there are plenty of runway pieces that I really, really like 
that wouldn't be worn in everyday circumstances and that I couldn't see many people wearing them, but I can still deem them as artistic. And obviously that's a personal preference because things that I deem beautiful, some people might say this is trash. But this, this I don't really have many words for. For some reason it reminds me of, you know, like the little white chapel in Vegas, like their drive-through chapels with like reverends that are dressed up like Elvis and stuff like that. That's the kind of vibe I was getting from this. If you just look at this picture without the woman's face, just like the outfit without the hat. This looks very much, I don't know, it looks kind of tacky to me. It's just overall too much and this also comes down to my personal taste because I always think if you wear something really extra, I like pairing it with something understated. So if I, for example, if you were just to wear the top here. I still don't like the top, but if I were to own this top, I wouldn't pair it with something as extra as these bottoms. I'd probably wear it with all black everything else or monochrome everything else so it balances out the same way that if I'm wearing a massive hoodie like now, under I'm wearing skinny jeans so it balances out. But I rarely wear two very, very large things together, though I kind of like the oversized look so maybe that Comparison isn't excellent, but hopefully you understand what I mean. And then the shoes too. I didn't even notice, they look like disco balls. Again, I don't really know what the vision here is. And I think a lot of the ugly fashion trends too, is that there are plenty of runway fashion trends that I can look at and I at least see the vision. So even if I don't like it, I can be like, okay, I see where they were going with this. But this, that's a no for me. These, I don't even have to see that they're Gucci to know they're Gucci because they're over the top and I don't like them. We have a family oath where none of us buy Gucci. It's just a rule in the family because of reasons like pants like this. But it's funny because I think there's, I think it's a TikTok that it was like a TikTok trend where it's just like how to look like a Gucci model and it's essentially like layering a bunch of things that don't go together and that's how you look like a model for Gucci and it's true and these pants in my opinion are an example of that and I think that's one of the reasons that no one in my family, myself included, like the brand because a lot of the times it's just a lot put together and it doesn't necessarily make sense to me. Aesthetically I don't find it pleasing a lot of the times it just seems like excess just to have excess. Not for a reason, not for a vision, but just to make it as gaudy as possible. I don't really know if I could see anyone pulling these off frankly. So this outfit came up on a blog post about like ugly trends and frankly i don't find this ugly what i do find ugly are the colors chosen if someone remade this entire outfit in full black and i'm biased because obviously i don't really wear many colors in terms of clothing if someone made this in full black or full like charcoal gray or straight up even white i think it would look great i think what makes this awkward is different nudes plus that like it looks like cream but also slightly pastel like very pastel green bag i'm assuming that's across her chest i think the colors here are what ruin it because i think that if this were in all black it would look super sick and it would look just like sleek tactical wear but the colors here i think that's what ruins it for me to be honest there's something about it that makes it look kind of karen-y because of the colors so this brings me back to the same point of what i was saying with gucci before now i don't know what brand this is i couldn't find what it was it wouldn't surprise me if it were gucci because it's tacky but plaid and then snakeskin and having different colors of snake skin. I've said it before, a lot of the times mixing patterns doesn't work out in my opinion. There are some that work, especially if you're going for like a 90s, 2000s vibe, like with pink cheetah print and something else. I wouldn't wear it because it's not my tea, but I can still see it as aesthetically pleasing. Here, it just looks like grandma's going out to get some bread and she just threw on the first thing that she found. Some of this doesn't even seem like fashion to me, like you making conscious choices of, I like these two things together, so I'm gonna wear them. A lot of this looks thrown together and I don't know if that's the vibe they were going for, like someone is late to class and so they just take the first two things they find. Maybe that was it, but this is not, in my opinion, forgivable. <laughs> like I just, I don't know. So this one isn't as much like super ugly in my opinion, as much as it's overdone and I'm annoyed with it. Now you guys know I love my graphic tees, I love graphic hoodies. I'd say 99% of the things I own have a graphic design on it, but I am particular with the designs because most of the time I want it to either be funny or spooky or representative of the brand. Like if it's Harley Davidson, you'll have a motorcycle and a skeleton riding it or some shit. But things like this I think are so overdone and so boring that I'm like, do we need another two piece outfit that says baby girl on it. Do we need it? Like I'm pretty sure Fashion Nova in total must have like over at least a hundred designs that say baby girl 
or baby on it or just some kind of term which was probably cute the first few times they did it and then after that it was just kind of like okay can we do something else can you actually pay your workers an appropriate amount of money instead of underpaying them criminally like can we do anything that is positive at fashion nova jury's still out on that one just kidding we already know they can't do anything right but yeah so like this baby girl outfit isn't ugly if you erase the baby girl it'll just be like a basic nude cohort that's fine but i just think this is kind of boring and considering how many followers they have and how much they sell you'd think that they could get graphic designers that could come up with something a little bit more original than this because it feels like I've seen this every single time I've looked at their website and that's been years now. On their website they also had these boots. Like I said before mixing prints or different colors of prints can work in my opinion. Like if these were and my bias is gonna pop out here, but if these were black snake print on one side and neon green snake print on the other side, I would be sold because I feel like those colors go well together. Again, that's my bias. Here though, the colors just hit me as like 70s, but like the dark side of the 70s, like the 70s fashion that nobody wants to remember exists, not like the one that comes back pretty much every couple of years. These colors, I just find horrendous together. I just don't think I could think of an outfit where these would look good. But again, if they were different colors, for example, if the backside were completely color blocked black with the snake print and the front were, I don't know, pastel blue, that would work. But I just feel like these, this combination of colors is just not it for me. So this outfit looks fine overall until you zoom in on the shoes and that's when we have chicken strip shoes chicken strip feet like it's obviously not her feet but the toes that go with these shoes are very troubling and i don't know why anyone would think of having a shoe that has toes like this so i don't know if like her feet are in a sock or if it's actually solid material that you just slide your feet in but either way it makes me feel like i'm looking at a real body and then a cartoon foot and i'm not here for it that's all there is to it the rest of the outfit i frankly don't mind like i don't think it would suit my body type in the least but i think the rest of the outfit is whatever last of all we have another piece from fashion nova the first thing i thought when i saw this and i don't mean it to be too mean about it but it looks like mold this tie-dye reminds me of mold i don't know if it's the color plus the cut and if you hide let's say from her mid thigh down if you hid that it wouldn't look as bad in my opinion but the legs being flared starting before above the knee is not only unflattering but it makes it look frumpy it doesn't make it look like a finished piece it somehow makes it look like they were on a deadline and whoever was sewing it had to leave and so they're like okay that's good enough like that'll pass there's not much more to say about that but this is such a typical fashion nova piece like tie dye it and make it the least flattering possible anyways guys let me know what you think in the comments down below let me know which one you liked or hated the most let me know if you have any opinions on these trends thank you guys so much for watching thank you to my patrons as always and let's get right to the fan art